My name is Tak Pham and I'm a curator, an art critic, and an architectural historian based in Toronto. The title of VPN to RAL stands for Virtual Private Network to In Real Life. Uh, what I would like to bring to the public is a new experience uh, that they can engage with uh, the internet and, and internet art. Uh, more importantly, I would like to raise issues around uh, internet ethics and problems surrounding uh, surveillance and the way that, that, that we give up ourselves, our information, uh, while we're interacting with the internet uh, on a daily basis. Uh, overall, uh, you can see that they, they are very like innovative and very like, playful with the technology. So uh, in Tommy Trons, uh, he takes a very simple QR code and, uh, and he did some and, and he kind of like ex exposed the uh, GPS tracking uh, technology that uh, every smartphone and every website has. Uh, or in, uh, Ma in Marlon Crowe's uh, photographic installation, there's a lot of uh, featuring shot from uh, from the classic movies about uh, of uh, people backs and uh, and people shadows in the middle of doing something, and that something is uh, very rich and very nuanced, in, especially in the context of the of the exhibition because it's a separation between intention and action. In Sophia Obo's work, uh, terms of service is really um, try to show the people um, you know what you agree upon when you agree uh, or you, when you accept the uh, term, of ser uh, term of service when you uh, let's say download a new app or like access uh, the new website or you the new online services um, it's pretty much about like uh, replicating um, this uh, abstract infrastructure of the internet into the uh, real space of the of the gallery. So uh, the vision of the uh, work is try to make it as like planned in and as transparent, as invisible as possible, but then only when you come up close, then, you know, you can, uh, the viewers are confronted with the term of service. In Ronnie Clark's work, uh, reading together, there are three components. Uh, first of all, there is a uh, VR headset where uh, the artist manipulates uh, the Google Street View in order to create this uh, surrounded uh, kind of like text uh, around the viewer. So when uh, the viewer put on the VR set, uh, they can see the, uh, the instruction of uh, different movement and it, uh, uh, surrounded them so they can move around and read the, and, and read the, the text out loud. To, uh, and they can either like perform it themselves or read it to like, the partner who is not wearing the headset and to perform it. Um, this guy, uh, this uh, interaction is well documented in uh, one of the two videos work that uh, accompanying the VR set. So in that video, you can see the artist uh, performing out uh, the set of instruction read out by uh, uh, by her uh, friend who is uh, wearing the, uh, the VR set and. In both ways, you can see the dynamic between them because they are both moving. Uh, uh, her performance really embodies the, uh, the vision of the show is trying to make uh, the internet real, trying to make the internet, uh, which is something ephemeral and abstract, into something uh, physical and experiential. Uh, I think what is at stake in this exhibition is about our own security and our uh, agency as human uh, versus technology. So our technology is getting uh, smarter and smaller and more functional. It feels to me that uh, if we're not aware of, uh, of the role that technology has in our, day, uh, in our daily life and in a way that it shapes our perception of, re of reality, um, sooner or later we will be taken over by this, by this technology and we actually uh, will be serving them as opposed to you know, them helping us. Yeah, we're right here.